Hi everyone, welcome to VISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and uh, in today's session, we'll be looking at another feature of importing bank data uh, in our NetSuite application. Uh, and that feature is known as a bank feed suite app. So in order to work on this functionality, this suite app is required to be enabled into the system. In our previous session, as we are uh, going through the reconciliation uh, process, so we have seen how the manual import of data is done, but with this bank feed feature, uh, we can have the uh, import of our data automatically into our system. For that purpose, we are required to uh, enable this uh, suite app into NetSuite application. So let's take a small introduction of it. What is it? So bank feed uh, is a pre-installed financial uh, institution record that is logged and we cannot uh, modify it. Along with that, it also provides bit better real-time reporting with less effort to stay on top of cash management and bank account reconciliation. As uh, if we talk about the functionality of the suite app, so it automates the transfer of ba bank data from the financial institution account into the NetSuite application. Also, it uh, retrieves bank data daily to ensure that everything in the bank account is reflected in NetSuite. And then it imports the bank data into our account. Uh, in order to help the bank reconciliation process. In addition to it, it also eliminates the manual effort of importing and matching the bank data in NetSuite, as I have mentioned just now, that uh, it is an automatic uh, process in which the bank, uh, with this, uh, means uh, by enabling this suite app, uh, the bank data is automatically get feeded into our system. So with this app, the companies can perform multiple uh, banking integration and financial uh, system process in one central location. We do not have to uh, move to so many uh, places in order to do the import. So that's uh, all about the introductory part of it. So before uh, uh, working on this, uh, of uh, app uh, we have to see whether this suite app is uh, installed into our system or not so there are two ways of navigating it uh, firstly we can uh, get into customization uh, suite cloud development suite app marketplace it will take us to this page or the another way is uh, we can click on this suite app option it will also take us uh, to that uh, same page so this is the uh, suite app marketplace where we have to put our uh, requirement So you can see that for uh, bank feeds, uh, we are having this app available. And uh, if we click on this, so it will ask us uh, to install it as it is already installed into my system. So uh, if it is not installed, so it is required to be installed first. So it will give us the overview of this, this particular uh, bank feed and then what are the features of it and all. So it is already installed over here. We do not have to do it. So this is about the installation of this app. Then comes our next concern. There are uh, various uh, prerequisites or there are certain features that are required to be enabled. Like we have to enable the service suite script feature. Then client suite script feature is also required to be enabled. Customer Custom records are uh, required to be enabled. Along with that, the online registration with the bank, like which uh, uh, bank data do we want to import? So an uh, online uh, registration with that bank is required to be uh, established so that uh, the data can be uh, fed. So these are the prerequisites. Now we will uh, see the another uh, aspect of this particular feature. So for that, we'll go into setup accounting. We'll go down here. Under the financial institution, yes, here it is. We'll go into list here. So you can see that uh, if uh, the app has been installed successfully, so it should be appearing here, it is appearing. Now we'll click on view. It will give us the date on which it has been created. The format profile, it also contains a format profile. We'll click on view. So you can see that it provides us the financial institution, means the bank feed information. It consists the name of it, description is there, then uh, date and all. The person who has modified it is also given. Going down here, we have to get into the format profile configuration. So here, this format profile is when we uh, save the financial institution record. So we can add one or more uh, format profiles over here. Uh, so these uh, format profiles enables us to 
uh, configure the required settings that are necessary for manual or automatic uh, import of our financial institution data. So these are all the various financial, uh, sorry, format profiles here. If we want to add, uh, so we can add it. We are not adding anything. We just uh, take this uh, connect to US and Canada accounts. We'll click on edit. So here, uh, this is the format profile page. It contains the name of it. What is the format profile type? Basically, under the profile type, we are having two options. That is bank reconciliation and corporate credit card. So these two options are available since it is a type of a uh, bank reconciliation. So it is appearing like this. Connectivity method is like if we go down here. So you can see that we these are the various uh, methods or various ways uh, for establishing connectivity like men. So as we have taken the US and Canada bank feeds uh, connectivity method. So it is already populating here. This transaction parser, it is also selected for the based on the US and Canada bank feeds uh, so that it could read out the parser and do the necessary functionalities. Description is there. Now we'll go into the connectivity configuration here. It will ask us for connecting a new uh, institution. So I will click on it. You can see that small pop up window as uh, will appear before us. You can see that these are all the uh, banks that are associated with US and Canada based on the requirement, whatever uh, bank uh, do we select. Suppose if I select this US bank here. So it will ask us for the credentials that is username and password. And after providing the U credentials, we have to click on continue so that uh, we can uh, uh, have the required bank feeds uh, or required uh, data into our uh, system. So after this, I'm not going to provide these credentials. So after establishing the connectivity, we'll go into the accounting linking account linking subtype as I have not provided any credentials over there. That is why I'm not having anything. But when we provided the required credentials, so we have to provide sorry, we will be providing uh, certain bank accounts that are associated with that that consist of credit cards and bank accounts. Also, what is the currency that is used? account type is used here and what are the linked GL accounts there. These are all these are all will be the uh, NetSuite account that will be linked uh, to that particular uh, account that is there. So in this way, we can establish the required uh, connectivity with the bank so that the data of the bank could be uh, fed into our system. We do not have to manually import with the help of parser and all. So this is the another functionality wherein uh, the data can be imported automatically into the system with the help of this bank feed feature. So that's all about the topic. In case of any doubts and consultations, you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.